smoke weed every day. day, 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 day. Yo, what's up guys? In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to lower the risk of you getting banned while playing Grand Theft Auto V, Ghost, Advanced Warfare, and other games too. How we're going to do this is we're going to install two homebrew apps known as PSN Ninja and PSN Patch. I'm going to explain what they both do later on in the video, so I'll see you at the computer. Alright guys, so now that we're at your computer, you want to download the TUT folder in the description and plug in a USB. So I just plugged in my USB here. Open the TUT folder. You'll see PSN Ninja V4 and PSN Patch version 4.70.6. Open up PSN Ninja V4 folder. Drag over the PKG to the root of your USB. And do the same with PSN Patch folder. Just open it. Drag over the PKG onto the root of USB. And then safely eject, and I'll see you back on the PS3. Alright guys, so now that we're at your PS3 again, you want to plug in your USB into the right USB port. And if you have a fat PS3, furthest to the right USB port. And then go into Install Package Files. Click X on this. This is PSN Ninja before. Which is right here. And then go back and Install Package Files. Click X on PSN patch. And then here you have it there. So what PSN Ninja actually does, well, like some of the features it has is it, you can wipe your history. You can replace your history, make history files read only, make history writable, clear browser history, hide from friends, which makes you appear offline, even though you're online. And then you can be seen again by your friends. So that's pretty useful. PSN patch. Um, it masks the CFW, which stimulates an official firmware version and deletes all traces of homebrew, which is unlicensed PS3 software being used on your console. You can find this information in the folder, which is in the uh, TUT folder, like the frequently asked questions of PSN patch and the readme in the PSN ninja folder. That's where I got this information from. So first you want to do is go to settings down, just in network settings. Go to internet connection and disable it. And then you want to go to PSN Ninja and run it. I usually do the first three, wipe history, replace history, make history read only. The reason that is I had my console ID for like eight months. I've used those three. Every time I used to sign in on PSN, like before I would sign in, every time I turned on my PS3 and the console ID lasted eight months, so people say it doesn't work, but I think it does. And PSN patch, um, so what it means by, like, disables the CFW, it makes your CFW look like it's on the OFW, which makes you not allowed to use your home other homebrew apps. So if you're getting a game from, like, the HDD, just do that first. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to run Grand Theft Auto 5. And then Grand Theft Auto 5 is loaded. So now you want to go into PSN patch. And then it'll show you like your IDPS, which is your console ID and your PS ID. So I'm going to blur that out. And at the bottom, you see the instructions. We're going to click hold X, which spoofs IDPS and your PS ID and disable CFW. So you want to hold X until you hear a beep on your PS3 and then let go. So that's what we're going to do. And then it'll take you back to the XMB. And how, like how you know you did it right is just run PSN patch again. And then it says CFW cycles are already disabled. That's how you know you did it right. So just click circle. And then... You want to go back into settings, network settings, enable your internet connection again. And then you want to run your game. Um, you don't really need to do this if you're playing like games lower than Black Ops 2. Because Black Ops 2 has like an actual anti-band eboot. I'll link that in the description if you want. And then you can just run the game you want. 
it like how you disable PSN patch settings, you just restart your system and then everything will be back to normal. And that's basically it. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.